Hello guys, so today I'm going to explain on how to operate the Garmin GNX375 in Foxtrot Whiskey Charlie. So I'm just going to go through the pages. So this is a simulator from Garmin app. So it's free, just download it and you can play around with it. Um, so get a better feel of how to use a GPS. So I'm just going to go through each of the pages. So the main page which you will be using is the map page. So this has everything you need, a uh, moving map. So um, it has all the features, all built, uh, built in, uh, direct to a built in transponder and you can access your flight plan from here. Also, there is a traffic and terrain uh, avoidance, which is uh, integrated too. There's a separate page for traffic. If you want to have a closer look um, where the traffic is near you, uh, terrain, there's weather, uh, nearest, so if you want to find where the nearest aerodrome or NDB VOR, that's all there. Flight plan, so this is where you're going to put all your flight plan in, and I'll uh, put a flight plan in and show you how to do that. There's procedures, uh, waypoint information, so if you want to find out what a particular aerodrome's runway is or the frequency, what approach it has this is where you find it and if we keep going back uh, utilities so if, if you want to find out what your fuel planning is or fuel burn uh, rain prediction for IFR clock timers that's all there and last but probably won't be using a system but if you really want to find out what uh, the satellite positionings are or how many satellites are um, being tracked you can find that all here so the main one we'll start off is obviously from maps what we'll be using so a really good feature that's built in is called safe taxi which if you zoom in in the smaller knob all the way into the aerodrome you'll find all the taxiways and diagrams so you can move around on the map and see where you are or if ATC tells you a particular route to follow so you can navigate through this so this is a really good feature so that's just uh, zooming in all the way until you see all the taxiways and the runways zoom back out is just anti-clockwise on the smaller knob and it'll take you back out if you want to go to the nearest aerodrome quickly you just use the um, bigger knob and turn it clockwise and will take you straight to the nearest aerodromes closest to you. Also terrain is there. So we have here already on the display, uh, distance, uh, ground speed. We have track and direct track two and ETA. We have a direct two function. So if you wanna select a waypoint or from a flight plan, um, you can click a particular waypoint and track of um, that direct to from your flight plan or the nearest aerodrome which is similar to what I showed before. So we have a, a built-in transponder so we're currently squawking 1-2 but if we're in Bankstown we can squawk 3000 and all you just do is press enter and since we're on the ground if uh, we are ready to take off all you have to do is go to mode alt reporting and you always have to make sure you press enter to activate it and there it is alt is coming and r when you see the r that means it's responding so it's working the transponder um so if you depart and you want to squawk one two zero zero into class golf easy way to do that is just press vfr and confirm that's the right one and all you just do is press enter and it's coming up oops